Namaste. You have a really great yoga practice. I saw your inversions at the end of class. Pretty impressive. Thank you. I've been practicing about five days a week for quite a while now. How long have you been practicing? Uh, about a year. I'm actually going to get my certification this fall. Oh, that's really fantastic. I bet you're going to be a great teacher. I'm sorry. Did you just look at my chest? Yeah. Can I go to one yoga class without being completely oogled by some jerk? Hold, hold on just a second here. Can, can I say something really quickly? Oh, now you're asking for permission. Please. If you really didn't want me to stare at your beautiful breasts, you'd be wearing something other than a purple sports bra covering maybe a third of your perfect tits. And another thing, I'm biologically programmed to stare at boobs, okay? It's in my DNA to scan for supple, life-giving breasts. It's not a personal thing. It's not about me. It's about my potential future offspring. Okay, so really, it's a selfless act. I'm paying it forward. And one last thing, okay, if all that isn't enough, I spent the best 18 months of my life sucking on those things for my very sustenance, okay? So don't you think that maybe in the recesses of my mind that I look at breasts and I think of a safe haven, that they're objects of love and caring, representing a time in my life when days were easy, and that maybe I saw all of that in your beautiful breasts? I don't know what to say. That was actually logical and somehow sweet. <laughs> Do you want to go get coffee or something? You know, that'd be really great. Hey, Mitch, how's it going, man? Oh, hey, Greg. I, I thought you were swimming. What, what are you doing in yoga? Oh, well, I was, and then I met April, and now I'm doing yoga. Are you guys... Oh, no, yeah. no, no. Excuse me? I'm sorry, I just... Mitch just made some really great points about my breasts. God damn it, Mitch. Sorry, Greg. April, have you ever been to a chakra puncture meditation? No, It's a really grounding experience. This guy? Oh, come on! When a person has a secret is not willing to tell others, you will find a tree hole and set your secret to the tree hole. Lady IDIY is A.L. Bobo's lady. She launched activities called Give Me a Love Letter, I Find Love for You. As long as you send a love letter to Lady IDIY, she will treasure for you in love bank. Give Lady a DIY a love letter. Let those you love or loved meet again.